how have you established your company with Transcend? You know, it seems like you're also um, you're also in the business of recruiting ambassadors to represent your brand too, as well. So, how have you you know um, uh, recruited your your peers and your fellow competitors to be your ambassadors? How is that process of building Transcend? How is that process of building a company? Um, well, yeah, I mean, we started very little revenue. I remember when um, when these partners approached me, there was probably four employees. There's two. There's three owners and one employee, and they had a small investment. There's actually some guys here in Frisco, actually. Cool. And um, yeah, they they were having problems getting views and visibility. They had done about a hundred thousand dollars in revenue over a few months, right? But they had they had lists. They had patient lists. So they they had some previous business. They were coming from other companies, but you know, part of what I saw, it, the vision of, of us growing was I've got, uh, number one, we've got something that the people need, which is at home functional medicine, at home healthcare, uh, that, that is different from big pharma stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got like hormone optimization and the innovation of all these different peptides to help healing and anxiety, depression, sleeplessness, erectile dysfunction, uh, fertility, yeah. inflammatory issues, healing, like you name it, we can yeah. help people. Yeah. So I said, dude, I love helping people. My name is Jason. My mm -hmm. mom prayed over me before I was born. She said, God named me. She didn't name me. And Jason was a healer in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And I knew that this was a big moment for me to to not just help people with fitness and their and their health choices but now in in the medical world that i'm very hesitant about the medical world the same medical world i saw over medicate my grandmother who you know rest in peace who was, she brought out a bag of medication i mean way over medicated <laughs> you know i mean she didn't get the help she needed so i was like if i maybe we need more thoughtful leaders and more preventative leaders in healthcare. Yeah. I said, so this is where I want to go. It wasn't just like, oh, let me post on the social media. Yeah. And, you know, that's why it was hard because they got a lot of criticism. People thought peptides were steroids, and they're not. They're not. They're not. Uh, peptides are chains of amino acids that create a specific response in the body. And I knew that. And the reason why I started researching peptides is because insulin is a peptide, and insulin's wow. kept me alive wow. since 2011. Without without that peptide of insulin, type one diabetics will be dead. Right, wow. we die by before the age of ten, maybe even maybe even five. So, yes, I like the innovation in certain parts of medication. So it's not steroid; it's it's a peptide. It's, yeah, which no. triggers a joke. Okay. No, there's not. There's nothing anabolic. There's nothing. You know, uh, there there is there side effects from some of them. Yeah, there's muscle gain peptides, but if you think about it, it's like water. We can pour water in this cup. We can pour water in a long cup, a short cup it's the the water is going to form to whatever we place it in mm -hmm. and that's what peptides do is they're they're, they're going to fix a problem or attempt to fix a problem that has been created from years of abuse or genetic issues or whatever right but it's not going to synthetically just boom inject you what one one example would be like uh growth hormone right i mean it, it's prescribed for kids and different people with like multiple sclerosis or muscular dystrophy well, then bodybuilders use it because it enhances muscle and burn fat, and they can literally become a bigger, boned, larger human, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. I can't take growth hormone. It's, it doesn't, a type 1 diabetic cannot take it. It causes insulin resistance. Wow. All right? And it's got a bunch of side effects. It can grow tumors. It can grow cancer. Um, you know, it, it has its effect. It, has, it should yeah. be medically overseen. But then the peptide option for that, something like tesamorelin and ipamorelin, Right. You said growth hormone increases inflammation. Tesamorelin lowers inflammation, wow. right? They both heal and they can yeah. help you healing, but tesamorelin and ipamorelin, it has, you know, basically zero side effects, much less side effects. It's clinically and FDA proven to burn stomach fat. Yeah. And so, you know, I look at, I look at those two, you know, those two medical um, options, right? Yeah. And then I started seeing, you know, peptides have so many different. So yeah, we can we can help people, you know, get jacked, but it's not it's not like the same rate of a steroid. Mm -hmm.